Hello everybody, how are you today? My name is Pawan Deep and you're watching Gujral Media. First of all, thank you everyone for watching all my videos, especially the last one as it is closest to my heart. I posted this and the vaccination video on some Indian Australian Facebook community pages and many people have asked me so many questions regarding which paperwork is needed, when to get tested or how was the experience? So here I am sharing my knowledge with you guys, which can be of some help. So the first question is, how did I book the flight from, from the normal agent, agents advertising charter flights or all by myself? I booked this flight from the agent that I've been dealing with for a long time now. I have noticed that agents advertising charter flights are having less dates on them, whereas my agent gave me more dates to choose from. Now the main question, which flight was it, what were its travel requirements and how was the experience? I booked Qatar Airways and they require you to fill up a PCR consent form and a certificate of PCR test results and should be negative. Overall, my father had a really good experience with Qatar Airways and also had a really smooth lounge experience at Al Maha Lounge Services that I booked before his journey starts. I will share its link in the description box. Do check it out. Question number three, does Australia check your PCR test results at luggage check-in counter? Eventually, yes. Although I had a word with the person on COVID helpline and he told me that no paperwork is needed while exiting Australia, but I think he's not aware of the fact and we got our paperwork checked at the counter. Another question, does India check your PCR test results? Yes, they will check when you arrive at Indian airport. And having said that, you have to upload all the details, all the traveler details on Air Suvida as well as you have to upload a certificate of PCR test results on their site as well. Question 4. Does my father got tested again at Indian airport? Yes, he got tested again at the airport and paid 500 rupees for the same. I had a word with my father and he advised everyone to pay online for the test in order to save some time uh, standing in the queue. As you know how hectic the process gets when you're traveling for 24 hours or more. It is written that you need PCR test taken at most 72 hours before your departure. Do not get tested that way. Usually you will get all your results in less than 24 hours. For example, my father was traveling on the 10th of September at 10.55 p.m. and he got tested on 9th of September at 9.30 a.m. and he got the results in less than 24 hours. I just wanted to make sure whenever he reaches to his final destination, that is Indian airport, he should be having his PCR test with him, which says that he got tested in less than 72 hours. Please note, look for more information if you're traveling to Maharashtra or nearby areas. I saw some news flashing uh, related to that area. Our destination was not there, so I have not gone through that news. But I strongly suggest whosoever is traveling to that side of the area, look for more details on the website. I hope I tried to solve some doubts and helped you in any way possible. If I did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel for more updates and comment down below if any information you're getting so that if somebody's coming and watching this video and looking for more recommendations or suggestions or looking down the comment section, he should be having some more information on his end. Together, we can help everyone.